right, so my humidifier just turned on. Uh, but I just want to show my other uh, projects that experiment here in the whole tent. I'm trying to grow immersed aquarium plants. Um, so I went to a store and bought an Amazon sword, a uh, Hygrophila salicifolia, and the Alterna terra rhinicii. I think that's what it's called. Um, and here they are. Um, the Amazon Zord, I was able to uh, separate into four different plants, which was a bonus. I just got it for $9, but that's the first one in this old Mr. Coffee pot. And then there's one in there, another in one in there, and there's the alternate Terra. I forgot that. I'm murdering the name, and one's in here. Um, and together with the Hygrophila and the more of the Alternan Terra. So yeah, they look nasty right now. So what I did was um, I chose containers where water can be retained. So in this case, uh, there's water left in there. Um, I have the, I used dirt, which is miracle Grow because that's the one I have. And then I also put on on the top a uh, pea pebbles or pea gravel, yeah, pea gravel. Um, I've done a uh, a uh, dirted tank before which was successful so I'm hoping this will work uh, but basically my goal here is to be able uh, to let them adapt because when I bought these plants they were in a uh, um, uh, wow well, I have a, I have a stroke there oh yeah there were underneath the water of, of course uh, when I bought them so what I'm hoping is uh, they'll be able to recover enough that um, they'll be able to adapt um, to grow immersed so with my experience in growing uh, aquarium plants they would definitely uh, melt or die out initially when you plant them. Now, I don't do um, the high-tech ones with CO2, only low-tech tanks, and a lot of those plants has grown immersed for me. So, I would try. So far, the Hygrophila, I mean, this is just the first day. Uh, I bought them yesterday, did this, and the Hygrophila looks like they're starting to adapt. Um, they will still die off, but there will be, there will be, um, new growth and hopefully the new growth will be the ones that can grow uh, immersed um there's one amazon sword there uh right there Hello. so that's one of the one of the four of the amazon plants uh, amazon sword plants that i i was able to separate so they look nasty yep um i'm hoping uh they slowly adapt and grow have new growth adapted to growing immersed and then I would slowly let the water dehydrate. I will just get enough water for it, for them to have enough yeah. moisture and uh, not dry out. Um, so yeah, so this is an experiment. Um, if you see this video, then the experiment will be uh, successful because I would do a, a follow-up video, but I'll include this uh, initial video uh, when I've set them up first and they look, they look bad, they look ugly, but... Uh, this is a this growth tent of mine um, in my previous videos uh, is really high hum high humidity uh, for for the uh, for this uh, nepenthes and for these orchids. So you can see there it's 91. Uh, it's 65 in this area, 65%. Um, I have a humidifier uh, connected to a high growth stat. So I've set this up to uh, humidify the tent like every when it goes down to 60 and up to a maximum of 70 percent um so yeah so that's it um if again successful which i hope it will be because uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people grow um in wabikusa uh plants like amazon swords and and that's even like the plants have grown immersed so so i'll start with this they look nasty right now but i'm hoping they'll look better and more lush so yep that's it thank you
right so i'm just gonna do an update regarding the aquarium plants uh, that i'm trying to grow immersed um and i forgot when i did the first video but i'll yeah so it's it's been a couple of weeks now from yeah a couple of weeks and let's see here so, so, so yeah they're doing well i mean i'm expecting them to die or but they're doing well so here's the hygrophila salicifolia if i pronounce it correctly as you can see it's growing really well you can see the dried leaves there those are the submerged leaves when i bought them so they're growing really well um and this is the alternantera rhinichii or if i pronounce it correctly you can see oh my the, i love the leaves they're red and those veins are really cool and I think I can grab one here yeah here so here uh, let's see if I can focus there and it's growing roots it's growing roots uh, there it is sorry yeah so yeah they're they're doing really well um I'm sorry the it's not the best but anyway yeah they're doing really well uh, down there um, let me see if I can zoom it closer yeah that's the uh, Amazon sword so I bought one but there's I, I separated in four plants which is really cool and yeah there's a lot of die-offs in terms of the leaves but you can see there's also new growth so that is cool that is really cool so yeah I can say that so far they're doing really well temperature in this um, Growth tent is around um, 73 to 75 at the most, but it's getting cooler now. So I was concerned about the temperature, but uh, I think it's 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 doing well. Um, um, here is also one of the Amazon swords. Um, sorry for the for the glare, but as you can see, I, I already cut off the dead leaves. But yeah, let's see if I can zoom more. Oh no, that's uh, that nice. But yeah. I cut off the dead leaves already and as you can see there's new growth actually I just noticed that there's new growth so yeah that, that's really cool um, I have new growth so I hope that they get above the water because that way they'll grow faster so I that's what I'm hoping um, same here um, you can see the bigger leaves those are the ones that are there originally and they're submerged and those are dying already or dying off but there are new growth again so that's a good sign um, I don't know if you can see it this is the smallest one but same here I put an alternate ter uh, the Rhinichia in there but there's a small um, Amazon sword there so yeah it's also doing well and here's a cryptocorn when DTI this one I bought separately maybe a week or two after so I, I would have to say this is also doing well um, uh, yeah no new yeah there's a new leaf there's one new leaf and yeah I'm just just trying to grow them um, and then these are the new ones that I bought uh, on the tent so like three or four days ago and Oh, this, by the way, is a, a salad bowl that my wife has. This is the uh, Ludwigia repens, and I planted some here. And this one is just water, just floating in water. And as you can see, I mean, they're not even dying off. So, yeah, these guys are doing really well. On this side here is the Rotala rotundifolia, and I hope some survive. I, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it will make it. It will make it. Um, yeah, I cut him in half and just planted him there. So, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, and I ordered more uh, plants. The Wisteria. Uh, I, I grow a deformis. And uh, what I'm hoping is uh, I, I'm able to grow them immersed also. Because they look different immersed than, un, than under underwater. But, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully I get it soon and get it planted. I got some pothos here. I want some roots to grow eventually I will have a I will start a new tank and I have a concept for in it looks like one of it looks like one of those Amazon biotopes where in there's a lot of roots in the water. So I really like that look and uh, I hope I'll be 
able to do that and replicate the ones I see in the video in, in YouTube um, I just like uh, to see a lot of roots and fish and shrimps uh, going through the roots and uh, yeah, enjoying also the roots also definitely help with uh, cleaning up the tank so anyway that's it so that's just a quick update um, on the uh, aquarium plants I'm just talking um, but anyway uh, yeah, yeah um, so this one it looks really cool the red and the green um, so we're happy about it here's my uh, uh, an allocation I forgot the actual name but it should have yeah the alocasia bambino and this is my ludicia discolor which is also doing really well uh, I put the uh, some pebbles on it because uh, again my fungus not infestation but overall yeah that's it um yeah thank you for watching bye